stop behaving like a child. I mean, are you behaving like you want to be under the other tree? It is just an engagement drink and nothing more. What if I tell you that this means more than a hundred million dollar lottery to me? I mean, it's been a long time coming, you know? Cleo means the whole world to me. I'm not supposed to tell you this, of course you know. Of course you know. I cannot wait to hear her say yes to me while I slide this ring right on her finger and kiss her in front of everyone. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, you know. Come on, okay, you know I'm happy for you now. Of course I'm happy, but you're behaving like you've done what no man has done before. <laughs> That's the point. No man has ever proposed to Cleo. I'm glad to be the only man that will put the ring on her finger. You know that feeling? I mean, stop making me talk like a child. I'm just trying to tell you that this man right here is happy. Okay? Just like that. You're just impossible. <laughs> You're just impossible. Are you? <laughs> oh, God. Hello? I'm fine, Johnson. Are you okay? Janito, what is it now? You're, you're, you're scaring me. Are you fine? How is family? What? Johnson, are you sure of what you saw? Sweetheart. Oh, I missed you more. Of course. I'm coming to see you. Mm -hmm. Do you know I love you so much? I'm coming. Where are you? Cleo, so it's true. What is true? What are you talking about? Who is Chiki? Talking to you, who is Chike? You have nothing to say, right? Oh no. Oh no. Part of my best life has been spent with you. been overly excited to propose to you. I've been talking about you. I've been telling my friends about you. I've been telling everyone how I can't wait to be your husband. And you've been seeing another. Hey, I'm sorry, but I never wanted this.
I hear you correctly? Look, okay. I'm sorry you have to find out about Chiki and I. But that is the reality. Yes, you, you are rich and handsome. Oh, you are too rigid. So you never loved me? Yes, I do. But not anymore, okay? You were good for a while, yes. But I never intended to keep this relationship for a long time. Your social life sucks. I can't beat it. I can't even stand you. Yes. The three years I spent with you has been deceitful. You never loved me. Come on, okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. You you were not that bad. <laughs> but if you permit me, if I may suggest. We can be friends with benefits. Don't! Please, don't be too hard on yourself. Just understand me. You were not that bad. I mean, our bedtime was so memorable. Wasted so much of my time and effort for someone who didn't value me nor care for it. Cleo was actually using me to catch crews all these years, and I didn't notice. Of course, the handwriting was always there, but I was blinded by my love. Definitely take my own pound of flesh from Cleo, from women, all of them, all of them.
This way. Hmm? What? Hmm? This this way. Are you looking for something? I'm not looking for anything. Okay. Then you, you come inside. This this is the way through. Inside the house. Then the first let's let's go inside. talking to you I was just admiring the beauty of the house I mean your house I'm, I'm sorry but please do you live here all by yourself hey, you're here for sex to service me not for question and answer if you ask more questions I swear I'll throw you out of this house this way this way The house is beautiful yet, yet smells doom. That's the bathroom, so you freshen up. This is it. Something is definitely not right about this house. I am convinced that this kind of affluence showing around this house is of illegitimate wealth, probably gotten through blood rituals or something close. Who knows? Who knows what he went inside to do? Perhaps to get his boys whom would bundle me to the slaughter room. Oh my goodness, is this why he didn't bargain prize with me? Chima Amanda, would this be the end of the road for you? Oh my God. Good, good, good morning. Good morning. Are you okay? I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm... My friend, I said go and take your bath. Put your ass on the bed. Tomorrow is work. I need to sleep now. Say good morning. Jean is good morning. It's good morning in the name of person. I know my place of ten.
done with your food. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the meal. You're welcome. Do you wanna come in? Come inside, like you want to lie down. Don't worry. My name is Okechuku Milton. I'm the CEO of Milton Oil and Gas. You see, previously I was incensed by someone I thought um, maybe having a um, hot round of sex would um, calm me down. But um, now that I'm done, now that I've taken my bath, I am I'm very fine now. Like, my nerves are calm, so I don't need sex anymore. But that's, that won't be a problem. I will still pay your money in full. Um, yeah. um, if it's about that, I'll tell, I'll tell you about me. My name is Chimamanda. I, uh, I am from... Your name is what? My name is Chimamanda. Mm. What a beautiful name. Kudos to your parents for giving you such an um, adorable name. Well, my parents didn't give me the name. I gave myself at a very tender age. Is there a reason for that? Not really. Uh, it's personal, right? And I would appreciate if we'd, we talk about something else. Let's, let's just forget about it. Um, it's, it's fine if you don't want to talk about it. I think I understand. So, you wanted to say something before? Yeah, I was telling you about myself. I want to tell you my name and also to tell you that I'm a student of applied chemistry in the State University. Really? Yeah. Why do you look surprised? You don't believe that prostitutes can study? No, no, not, not really. I... <laughs> no, not really. Wow. So, what level? 400. 400? Yes, 400. You're almost done. Yes, almost. Impressive. All the best. Thank you. So, do you want to come? Come on. Mm, okay. Do you want more water? No. You're fine. Yes. I actually like staying here, so you go. This is strange. So strange. A man sleeping next to a beauty like me without even looking my way. Even when I'm naked? Am I not attractive anymore? No, 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 no. That's not true. I'm a very pretty girl. And I know it. Men have always thrown at my presence. But this one is totally different. How am I even sure he's a man down there? Or does he have any evil intention? I don't want to believe that this man actually brought me here just to waste my time. Huh. I hope he won't tell me stories in the morning about my money. I just hope so. Good morning, beautiful. Beautiful. Did you just call me that? Beautiful. Of course you're beautiful, but I guess it's not the first time hearing that. For once, I thought you never found me attractive. You... You didn't even 
touch me all through the night. You couldn't even lay your hands on me. You, you pretended as if I wasn't here. Well, a prostitute is not really my thing. You know, I've not done it before. Guess you, you are a saint then? <laughs> not really. I didn't call myself a saint. I'm just letting you know I, I haven't um, slept with a prostitute before. I'll come back here, yeah. When you go, I'm sorry. My money. Oh, it's okay. I understand you both. You're giving me the the, the hundred thousand. Of course, that, that's that's what we're bargaining. Yeah, I know we we bargained, but we we didn't. Okay, fine. I'll keep it, thank you. You're welcome. So if you don't mind, can I have your number? I'll, I'll have to see my email. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, my, okay, let me see you. This is like a dream. A hundred thousand naira. Hey, maybe I shouldn't have collected this money. Just maybe I should have counted last night as a bad day. Hey, are you sure I have not fallen into this man's trap? Hundred thousand naira. For doing nothing. Nothing at all. Hey. I may be a prostitute. But I do have conscience. Anyway. Let me wait until he calls. Long enough to know that you've been in a very deep thought. Oh, should I say reflection? Reflecting about your beautiful man with Cleo, I guess. Well, um, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Okay. This is the one, uh, the reason why I came. Uh, I'll come back for the full list. Okay. Yes, excuse. Hello, beautiful. I'm fine, thank you. But I can't pretend not to know who is talking to me. It's totally different. Well, I'm okay anyways. 
pleasing to hear. Um, I, I, are you booked for, for tonight? Mm, not really. I'm not, I'm not going for work tonight. I need to read my books. My exams are coming up. Interesting. So what about tomorrow? Can you come during the day? I just, um... It's all right. I'll, I'll try. I'll try because there's something else I want to tell you. Oh, really? Yeah, I want to discuss something with you. Okay, okay, fine then. Tomorrow, tomorrow. No, no, no. Don't worry yourself. No stress. I'll, I'll find my way. Okay, 12 p.m. is fine. Okay, all right. See you. Bye. You're not looking like someone who just broke up from a relationship you so cherish. Am I supposed to kill myself? Not really, but you should have some feelings that you lost somebody. Well, I did. I can continue dwelling on that. See what happened to me the other day. What? After drinking, I just, you know, got so angry and raged. I just had to pick up a call girl. Mm -hmm. Because I felt um, after marathon sex or something, that that feeling would just go off. You know, so many things on my mind. So how did you go? How many rounds did you take? <laughs> I ended up not doing anything, though. It's funny. After taking my bath, my nerves, you know, calmed down. I just told the girl, hey, I'm good, you can sleep, and that was it. I just went to bed. <laughs> Hard to believe. I mean, you were soaked in alcohol, you picked up a cockpit on the street, and at the end of the day, you prayed for her. <laughs> Not like prayer, <laughs> making it funny. Like, we went to bed, and that was it. No um, touching body? Nah. Nah. Had to be. But funny that. enough, uh, yeah. I think I like that girl. She has this um, natural aura around her, you know. I just feel she's real. Apart from being a call girl, I just think um, she's. There's something special about her. Hey, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I mean it. <laughs> Let me borrow your word. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> you really need to take a chill pill because you, you, this is not you, man. No, but I'm just saying, man. It's just an honest observation, you know. You took a, you picked a cockroach on the street. You ended up not sleeping with her. Now you, you nigga, are. I'm not you, man. It's not Biggie. Must I do something? Take a chill pill. <laughs> I try not to be up in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won't kill me. He's not a good child. He's not good. Yeah, but she's a cool girl, really. Mm -hmm. She's a cool girl, really. Sounds like a fairy tale. Fairy tale? <laughs> <laughs>
in the car. As you sit down? Yes. Alright. Oh, I don't mind. Thank you. Good afternoon. Who do we have here? Beautiful Amanda. Yeah. Let's have a seat. Thank you. Wow, you're welcome. Thank you. So, what do I offer you? Nothing actually. I'm no, fine. No, no. I would be a very bad host if I take that from you. You have to take something. No, I don't You have it. wine, beer, water, anything. I honestly don't want anything, but I'll just go with water. Just water? Okay, fine. Ure! Ure! Sir? Sir? Welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir? Get water for my guest. Okay, sir. Welcome. Thank you. So how was your studies yesterday? It went well. Oh, you changed your mind? I don't understand. Are you trying to dictate or monitor my movement? Oh, no, not really. I, I know you told me that you wanted to skip business for your studies, so... Not exactly. It happened exactly the way I told you. Thanks for your concern anyways. I'm glad you did exactly what you said. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you said you you want us to talk? Yes, I wanted us to discuss something. It's actually about the money that you gave me. You know. I felt I didn't work for it. Therefore, I shouldn't have collected it. At least not all of it. And um, before coming here, I, I had wanted to come with some part of the money, you know. But on a second thought, I knew full well that I was coming here for service. So I would make up for today's own, right? <laughs> To Amanda. Well, um, you see, you, you did your job. Of course, you deserved your payment. I think it was actually me that, that, that didn't do what I was supposed to do, you know. And um, I really don't know what you mean by service. If it's what I'm thinking, then you're wrong. <laughs> I didn't call you out here for sex. I Actually, I called you here because I... I wanted company. Yeah, not sex. But you will still get your full payment regardless. Oh, uh, uh, really? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, this is not funny, Chimamanda. Honestly, I am. But can't you see the humor in all of this? There is no humor in this. But there is in this case. There is none. This is me telling you of heartbreak and you're laughing at me. Okay, let's not talk about it. But the truth is, there is one in this. Okay? Well, congratulations. You've been used and discarded after the process. Oh, really? Is that all you have to say? Wendy, I'm being honest with you. Judging from what you told me, this girl in question doesn't love you. She doesn't love you at all. She was just using you for the time being. I mean, using you to keep herself less lonely and stuff like that. Maybe there yeah, might be one or two attractions, but certainly love is never involved. 
She doesn't love you. It's a no-no. Well, you're right after all. You know, something happened when we were dating that made me to understand that she she wasn't really into me. She wasn't really into the relationship, but guess I was I was blinded by love that I, I couldn't allow my, my brain to, you know, do its job. <clears throat> but the truth is that she doesn't love me like I do. You see, love is a very interesting thing. It flows naturally from the heart and not the head. When the love is genuine, the head does a little, only but a little. But that's not withstanding anyway. You would have done better. Well, it was it was a horrible experience for me. I felt like I was I was gonna, you know, I don't know if it's silly to say lose my life, but the truth was, I wasn't really really getting myself during that time. All I was thinking of was revenge, bitterness, and um... Break up. It's really a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. It makes people very bitter. Oftentimes, making the process a mess of feeling. Accompanied by desperate need to retaliate. But I tell you the truth, darling. Retaliation is never an option for me because I consider it to be a spiritual suicide set aside to destroy someone's soul and of course set the person out for destruction. It's nothing good. Never. Not for anyone. Wise words. You're right. Breakups are enough and something to reckon with. It's um, something I I wouldn't even wish my enemy to, you know, to witness. Talk more of my my relations or people close to me, you know. If you're not careful you might lose yourself in the, in the process. As bad and terrible as breakups are, we must certainly encounter it in our lives. Maybe once, twice, or even more. If people have respect for the memories and moments they shared whilst in relationships, there won't be much breakups. And even if there are, it won't be this hurtful. But no, human will always be human. It's crazy. You're very intelligent. I want to ask something and I, I don't want you to feel bad. Why you were talking, I was just um, wondering why an intelligent young lady like you would go into prostitution. Why right? well, you have all this knowledge packed up in you. You're a great person. I have to take my leave. The day has been fast spent, and I have to go for my business. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, please. I, I, I didn't mean to make you sad. I gave you my excuse for wanting to go. I am not your housewife. I need to go for my business. Oh, please, please, just take a chill pill. Look, I, it was just an honest observation, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Please, can, can you, can you, can you pass the night? No, 
Not again. I need to go. Oh, please, please. Juna Amanda, don't. Okay, fine. You just stay. I will make it up to you. Okay? I'll drop you off in the morning. I'll, I'll, I'll still pay you your money. Yeah. I'm sorry. house yeah my house is very close it's close by so I'll complete the rest by foot <laughs> why don't you want me to drop you just there no don't worry I'll just I'll just walk through so far okay somebody you don't want me to know your house like I said it's very close okay and thanks for last night the money thank you it's okay you, you worked for it <laughs> I worked for it mm -hmm. you I reserve my comments um I just, I'll, I'll go. It's fine, if, if that's what you want. So, when, when am I seeing you again? You have my number. We'll, we'll talk on the phone, right? Okay. All right, guys. Bye. reason I called you earlier. Don't worry, I'll... I'm really tired now. I will call you to let you know if I can make it. Okay? Okay, Ma. Amanda brought us new food items. So you take them inside, okay? You take them back there inside fast, fast. Hello. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Eh? Thank you. How about you? Thank you. Ice Chief. Nice to you. What is really going on? You said you wanted to tell me something, but you've not said anything to yourself. Yes, I don't really know how to say it. I don't really know how to put it. I'm sorry. Listen, how it is. Go ahead and talk to me. Okay? Tell me, what is it? Say things the way they are. I don't have a problem with that. We're short of supply. And it's not helping matter at all. Despite all our feelings, so today, please, the government and individual, there's no little or no help 
coming from any of them except you. Hmm? Although not consistent, but you're showing little concern. Um, I will tell you not to be dismayed, right? Because not everyone understands the meaning of supporting this kind of initiative. But you have to keep striving. You have to keep awareing people. The awareness has to be there. Okay? Yes. I believe with that, things will get better. Amen. And trust me, there are thousands and one people out there who are willing to support, but they haven't seen reasons to. Okay? So in my only two way, I would want to support with, with this. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. I don't really know what to say. You have always been a source of joy with your consistency in making sure you contribute with your force in support of this mission. Thank you once more. You're welcome. Thank and you. again and again, I will always appreciate you, Mrs. Joy. I give you a big kudos for what you're doing. It is not easy to assemble the less privileged from all walks of life. You cater for them. You service them. You make sure that they are very okay. It is not easy. I pray that God Almighty in His infinite mercy will continue to bless and protect you. As a matter of fact, posterity will be kind to you. Amen. And you too. I pray that God Almighty will bless you with your heart desire. Amen. And most especially bless you with a wonderful husband. Amen. You know you're a very beautiful woman. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Right, you have to really be on my Thank way. All right. Oh, all right. Thank you. All right. right. Bye. 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 Go and check the kids. What are you saying? I'll go to the point. Uh, I already heard what you said. I know. But, okay, what do you want? Tell me exactly what the person... Oh, he specifically asked of me. Huh. Listen, girl. I'm in dear need of money. I need money to pay for my tuition fee. But as it stands now, huh, I'm not interested in this deal, trust me. I'm not interested now, I'm not interested. Bye. What is it? What is it? Bad market. You don't like the client? I don't like where he lives. I can't even go there. It's only poor people that live there. Wait. So, there is also a social disparity in your line of work? Hmm. My dear, to an extent I do. Rich people pay very well. Poor people, they don't pay you well. Secondly, they have this mindset of sapping you off. All the juice in you. Just to get the maximum value of their money. My dear, I'm not ready for that. My friend, my friend, my friendship. Ah, it's not <laughs> funny. But oh my dear, you signed for it. So because I do this job part time, then I have to kill myself in order to survive, right? Mm. Please don't start it though. Don't even start. But Chimamanda, when is this going to stop? When? I mean, you're the most brilliant student in our department, if not the entire faculty as a whole. Yes. She can't do better than being just a sex hawker. Come on. What would you have me do? You're too beautiful, too good for this. You think I do it intentional? You think I enjoy doing this? What would you have me do? My dear sister, I am in this world all by myself. I don't have a mother. I don't have a father. I don't even have any relation to cater for me. The world have beaten me to a pulp. And I have to survive. I know but there are many things you could do to assist yourself. You can get a part-time job or a boyfriend who can assist you with things you need. You must not prostitute to survive, Maybe my I friend. I tried that. And I literally became a burden. I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, now, if you're asked to suggest a job for me in this country, the way it is hard right now, what job can I possibly do as an undergraduate to take good care of myself? What job? I've got a lot of things to do. My rent, taking care of myself, my fees, and a lot of things, girl. 
How do I survive? I Listen, I don't enjoy doing this. I don't enjoy being a prostitute. But girl, I have no other option. This is the only thing I think I can do now to survive. At least for the meantime. Oh, Chimamanda, you can try. Just give it a try. I'll Please, try. Can, we, can, we, can we just switch to another topic? If there's any other thing we can talk about, I would really appreciate it. Have you done your assignment? You assist me now. You put me through. Oh, you put you through, huh? Mm -hmm. I put you through. And you're here, criticizing you, me. Mama, you know Buku, but this is your... I beg, shut up. Pick two. Really now? Yeah. Okay. Have it again. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing, babes. I'm just playing. <laughs> You're just playing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right. Maybe another two, baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't understand. That's what I got. <laughs> no, no, it's not what you got. How can you just have pick twos everywhere? But it's my luck. What do you mean luck? I mean, you can't just have pick twos. Whose fault is it? Baby, play this thing. <laughs> I'm eating your money today. Well. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, I paid my school fees with this. Don't worry, we'll find out about Three that. Three pictures cannot shake me. We'll see about that. It's okay. It's okay. And, of course, and then, I, I think you should have that one, my love. Then, last card. <laughs> I no, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't like this. That, that's a you mistake somewhere. You know, you don't like what you were here. We shuffled it and then we shared it. So what are you talking about? Take the freaking pick two and then it's the last card for me. <laughs> so you mean you you you, you came to my house and you're giving me four big tools? Yeah, I haven't seen nothing yet, baby. This is just the beginning. <laughs> well, I will take this two for the last time, and I will come with a bomb. Okay, let's see. Let's okay. see how you win. Let's go. Okay. Um. And then check up. You owe me hundred k. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> hey. Baby, I have won. Share it again. You, Let me give you another you bozak. Tell me that to my face that I, you have won. Yes, I've won. I've won 100 things. Let me give you another boza. Okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious now. I okay. think I'm laughing too much. That's the reason. Okay. Now you will see game and you will run. <laughs> who they? Who they? Who they? Who they? Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna win you again. It's Trust me. Four pit twos. No, no, no. I'm gonna. Watch out the table. That's one knot. They owe me 100,000. I don't understand what is really going on. Listen, I'm not finding this thing funny anymore. Uh -huh. You seem to have forgotten where you met me. Where you picked me for the very first time. Okay, let me remind you. I am a prostitute. A prostitute and not a seller of intelligence or anything. Please, each time you call me, let's do business. I don't like this so. But I see more than just a prostitute in you. You have more to give. I see an intelligent and resourceful young woman, not just a prostitute. Don't see that in me. See me as the sex worker that I am. Call me, pay me, and then we'll, we'll have it done and then I leave. But I pay you your money in you, full. You don't do the business. I'm not comfortable with that. You're giving me free money all the time. Why? Why? Am I the only person in this world? Why? Why would you always give me money without doing the business? Why? Look, Chimamanda, I'm only interested in the qualities. Can no. you take it easy with me, please? If this is why you call me out all the time about quality or no quality, don't call me. I won't come again. No. You call me, we do business. I'm gonna do. 